we have our model, and now we want to add color and textured to its surface. This is where UV maps and UV unwrapping come into play. But let us begin by taking a closer look into how our model is constructed. We already know that this cup is made out of individual connected faces, and we typically use quads here and triangles. As a matter of fact Second Life and most other graphic engines work only with triangles. Well, the triangulation of quads and more complex polygons is always possible. And in fact the Second Life importer will always triangulate the models before they get imported. So we can always break up any mesh model into a set of triangles. This is very good news, because triangles have one very important property. They always have an absolute plane surface. And plane surfaces are essentially two-dimensional. In practice this means that we can use simple images for our texturing, so all we have to do is to specify which part of an image shall be used to texturize which triangle on the model. Let me pick up one single triangle from our model. I will name this triangle, a model face. And here I have prepared a simple test grid image. I have placed another triangle on top of the image. This is, a UV face. And finally I also have specified which corner of the UV face corresponds to which corner of the model face. That's all we need. Now my computer is able to cut the UV face out of the image, then transform, scale and rotate it until it fits exactly into the model face. This transformation works independent from the shape of the UV face. In fact we can move the vertices of the UV face wherever we want. The area marked by the UV face will always be transformed such that it exactly matches the model face. The relation between the corners of the UV face and the model face is also named, a mapping. And because our UV face is flat we can use a two-dimensional coordinate system to specify its vertex locations. The two dimensions of the UV face are called, U and V, while the three dimensions of the model face are called, X, Y, and Z. So, mathematically we have defined a mapping from a two-dimensional UV system to a three-dimensional XYZ system. This mapping is named, UV mapping. And now you also know why UV faces are named UV faces. So far we have only specified the mapping between one UV face and a corresponding model face. If we want to texturize our entire model, then we have to add a similar correlation from each individual model face to a corresponding UV face. The entire set of these correlations is named, UV map and the process of defining the correlations is named, UV unwrapping. In practice it does not make much sense to define the UV mapping for each face by hand. This can be done much better by a computer. And Blender provides some tools which make UV unwrapping easy. Actually I already have used Blender's UV tools to create the single UV face for this demonstration. Let me show you how I did that as a warm-up exercise. Then I will finish the complete unwrap of our model in the next chapter. So, you find the UV tools when you are in edit mode. Enable face select mode and then select one single face. Now press U. This opens the UV mapping option menu. From all available options select the first one, unwrap. By now the UV map has already been created and we can make it visible as follows. Switch to the UV editing screen layout. Now you see the UV editor on the left side. And therein is the UV map section, where the U axis goes from left to right, and the V axis goes from bottom to top. The UV map contains a single highlighted UV face. And this UV face is already mapped to the model face. So by now we have the mapping. And now we have to create a test texture for the model. In the image editor select, image, new image. Name the image, test grid. And check the UV test grid option. This generates the test grid image. Now we have the texture, but we do not see it on the object. 
This is just a display setting, we only need to switch the viewport shading to, texture. And finally we can see it. The single UV face now gets correctly mapped from the textured to the object surface. But hold on. The object is not nicely illuminated. This is because we have not yet set up our light environment. I will get back to this in a later chapter. For now I show you a quick step for checking your unwrap. This method is independent from the light setup. Go back to viewport shading solid. Now the object light setup does no longer matter, but the texture is gone. We can fix that as follows, open the left properties sidebar. Search the display section. And there enable textured solid. By now you know everything that is needed to understand the principles of UV mapping. And you can define the UV map for individual faces, and you can make your texture visible on the model face. In the next chapter, I will proceed by defining a simple workflow for creating a complete UV map for your model.